Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, I'm going to continue the Java web application development tutorial and this is my third video. In first video we have seen how to configure the Maven or project with um, the STS tool or how to configure that all the things. In next tutorial we have seen like how to uh, configure uh, MBC architecture inside your project and in this tutorial we are going to create our first page. So inside you can see, if you don't know, please watch the previous videos in playlist so you will understand all the things and I'm going to continue that series. So in this tutorial you can see there is a three three modules are there. The first one is bean classes, the second one is a controller and the third one is module. So in this video we will work on that view part of that application. So we are going to create a, some front end or index page, some data answer in index page. So you can see here. Uh, this is my web folder. If uh, there is a CSS folder, all the CSS come inside this folder. All the, the images will come inside this folder. JavaScript, JSP pages, and one default index.jsp page outside everything. So this is my index.jsp page. Here you can see, and uh, there is simple HTML code you can see. And I'm not going to create uh, the step by step that. Uh, HTML code so I have already that code HTML code so I'm going to just copy paste and I also copied from internet honestly so I'm going to just copy this and I want to show you there is some menu or some things are there so in this video we will create a one registration page for our application and uh, just will redirect the data in the servlet and check the data is coming on servlet or not so you can see there is some CSS classes are there inside the style text. So for better understanding, I'm going to create a separate CSS class for this and I'm going to copy paste the data on that file. So inside that CSS folder, I'm going to create a new file and the file will be uh, index.css or you can say my style that by default name my style dot CSS. You can see inside this folder the file is there so I'm going to just copy paste that code and uh, inside the header tag in HTML I'm going to uh, inside the head tag and HTML I'm going to link that uh, particular uh, file particular my cell seat so I'm going to enter that code here so you can see okay so for link that external CSS you can use link reliable uh, reliability style sheet type will be uh, text and CSS and you need to uh, you need to insert a configure uh, path particular path of that file so my file is inside the CSS folder and the file name is my style.css so that file the css file is linked with this page uh, already and inside that body tag i'm going to create a menu bar so that menu bar will be is like this so here you can see i'm going to just copy paste that code for, for saving your time okay so first i'm going to check this it's working fine or not then we will continue so I'm using the Tomcat server to run that application. If you don't know how to use Tomcat, you need to watch the previous videos so you will easily get understand. So application is going to run and uh, yeah, and the application is going to run and uh, so the menu bar is created easily. Uh, it's a simple HTML code and inside this I'm going to make some changes like uh, as a home I'm going to create a registration register or you can say sign up sign up and I'm going to paste the link of particular page which will redirect when user click on that sign up button and here I'm going to sign in sign in contact us and about us okay so I need to create one more page inside the JSP folder for register user. So I'm going to create a simple register.jsp page here. So this is this will be my page and uh, I need to link of this page. So I'm going to just run simple this page to get a link of that page. 
so I want to run this page again and this is the link which I need and uh, I'm going to just paste the link here when user will be click on that sign up button the page will be redirected on that JSP page okay similarly when we create the new uh, sign in page we will do the same thing and just focus on the register.jsp uh, that is a simple welcome i'm going to print a message here for user h1 inside the h1 tag and welcome to register uh, register here you can say simple register here the check is working or not so i'm going to wait click on that sign up button so the page is here register here inside this register here i'm going to create a simple form and inside this form some inputs will be there so if you know the basic html you can skip this part and just switch on the next but if you don't know about the HTML, you need to follow this. And inside the form, I'm using the method. So method will be get or post. You can use according to your need, but post will be recommended for you. And I need to perform an action when this form will be submitted. So I will create a, a register uh, servlet. So I want to create a simple uh, register uh, servlet so i'm just passing the name here yet i'm not create that uh, that one but we will create in future so i'm going to just enter the name uh, input type will be text so one input field i required here and type will be text and the name name of that uh, field will be name and uh, one more thing i need a placeholder here so placeholder i think it will not work right now let, let me try it uh, enter your name okay that's it so I want one or two or three field according to a requirement you can take I'm going to just take a three field and one button so the, the last one will be a button so the type will be submit and you know don't require any name and something we just require a value for the button so uh, we can say uh, sign up and uh, <coughs> next thing is uh, there is the first one is a name and the second one will be your gmail email id you can say and third one will be your password it's suppose only the demo purpose you can take uh, according to your requirement that you want so here we are going to create an email and here we need the password so i'm going to just change the data and check it again i want to reload this page you can see there is a three field email enter your name enter email password you can use a pre-take to format the data so pre-take and uh, i'll replace close the tag here before the form and just check this yeah it's in a format so i'm not going to use uh, css to decorate it but uh, i will provide the link in description box for the complete post in which and after the video i will decorate it and uh, post it on code1.com so you can check from there also uh, it's a video is only for the demo purpose how the things will work and uh, that's it so now when user will click on the sign up button or user will submit this form the data is redirected on the register button if you know the data as you can see here when i'm going to click on this button you can see the request for the register survey the register survey is yet not available inside my project so i'm going to create survey is a controller so it will come inside that controller package so right click on that controller and create a survey create a survey and servlet name will be register just remember the name when what name you are going to provide inside your action var uh, action and so the name should be same okay and one more important thing you are using that post method uh, here inside that register you can see the method form method will be 
form method is post so you need to write your code inside the post method inside your servlet so here I want to receive the request user going to uh, perform a request from the front end that uh, name email and password there is a three parameter which user going to pass on this uh, servlet next servlet register so we need to catch that servlet so for that we need three strings and so I'm going to create a string name and uh, the request will become with request dot get parameter there is a method get parameter and uh, so here you can see it remember one thing the name of this field is a name so we will pass that exact name here so it will identify by the name okay request is sending uh, the page is sending a request and by the parameter name is name so we will get and store that in that string variable so you can see here there is an interface like http servlet request request and http servlet response so if you are if you if you want to send some response from this servlet to another servlet or another jsp page so we will use that variable uh, response if you are if you want getting something so we will use request so similarly there is a three field which user are going to pass so second one is an email and third one is a password so just remember the name I will be name should be same so this here is an email and we are going to store it in email and the third one is password this one so there should be password and password for a demo purpose i'm not going to connect uh, uh, connect the database right now in upcoming video we will see how to store that uh, request how to store the data and uh, database also but for demo purpose uh, I'm going to just print that on the data uh, data on the page so you will easily get how can we receive the data and uh, servlet and print it so for printing we need to create a object of uh, print writer so you can say out the print ln and out is not working here so we need to create an instance of print writer here so create one print writer out equals to response dot get writer okay so the error is gone and it will print the name and similarly i'm going to print more values like uh, email and password also so just copy this and paste here and paste here okay just check the output here so i'm going to run this uh, code and uh, just right click on the project and uh, let's check the output so run select the browser select the tomcat server click on ok just click on sign up enter the name demo and the email is demo at the rate gmail.com and password 123456 click on sign up so you can see here the username is demo and the, all the data comes in servlet and the very next video we will see how to uh, insert the data in the database mysql database and very next we will set up first uh, the mysql workbench and uh, complete mysql and then we will see how to do that uh, how to uh, so insert the data from this servlet to database and how to create the DAO classes and all that classes so thank you so much for watching if you like and if you feel if you are uh, learning something please subscribe the channel and for more videos for continued tutorial if you have some doubt please you can comment me i will try to solve thank you